Minister Schramberg, um, we are very happy to have you here at the Digitizing Europe Summit 2019. And um, why, we've got why we invited you, basically, because Austria has become a role model for digital transformation of public administration in Europe and has developed a holistic digital strategy. What is the most important challenge to focus for governments concerning digitization and how should it be tackled? I'm very happy to be a Minister for Digital in Austria, so this is the first time Austria has a Minister for that uh, topic. Um, and the topic is uh, very wide. It uh, includes uh, topics and challenges of society, of education, uh, as well of inf as of infrastructure. It includes uh, topics uh, um, which are uh, specialized on administration. So this is something which cannot be solved in one with one uh, project, but it is uh, with all of the of the government. And so Austria has uh, launched the the program for Digital Austria. Which, is, which includes all the different projects we do, either in e-health or in e-government uh, or in education, which, which is a very important part. Okay. Um, and can you give an, a concrete example, for example, when it comes to public administration, are there particular citizen services which you developed? Um, please give us an example. Yeah, we, 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 we concentrate a lot on um, administration, so we call it from e-government to mobile government. So the target is to make services uh, available for citizens as easy as they are used to in their private life. So, there, so therefore we are developing an app which is called uh, Österreich GVAT, Austria uh, Government App, uh, which will be available in March. And uh, what can you do on this uh, app? So as you are used to in your private life, you can use it, for example, when you're moving from one place to another, or when uh, a couple or, or somebody is expecting a baby, you can give the, the name of the baby via the app. You don't have to go uh, somewhere uh, to uh, um, a public authority, a physical building, but you can do it from your home uh, or from the hospital, wherever you are, wherever, whenever you want to do and use the services. So this is a very important project we have. A second very important project is called One's Only Principle. So uh, what is uh, always complained about, not only by citizens, but also by companies, is that they have to provide the information again and again to the public authorities, sometimes to the municipalities, to the villages, to the countries, and to uh, the government as a whole, mm -hmm. so for the whole country. And they do it again and again. In Austria, to give you an example, it means that uh, 4.2 billion Euro have to be spent each year by government and by companies only for that, and 230 million informations have to be provided by companies alone, let alone uh, individual people. So the companies have to provide 230 million informations each time they have to provide 55 different uh, individual information. So they are all um, occupied with uh, gathering information and providing the same information again and again. So our target is um, to reduce this to at least 50%, maybe even less, and uh, by their, this way to free up their energy and that they can concentrate it was, is really important for them, means new products, new solutions, new markets. Okay, that sounds really citizen-centric. Is this, this actually the key f um, success factor to win citizens' trust? Indeed. Uh, I'm convinced that execution is the topic that politicians have sometimes to learn and to focus more on that. Because citizens are uh, working in companies, they have to execute, they have to deliver. They cannot wait and discuss five or ten years which product to invent in which country and which new solution to 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 bring to the market. So what need, we need to prove is that we are good in execution. And what we do in Austria, as I'm from the IT industry, I have 22 years experience there, we apply to, uh, methods which we are completely used in, in companies in uh, the area of administration. For example, rapid prototyping. The app was not developed by somebody sitting in a single room thinking about it five years and then maybe after a long discussion implemented something which is already outdated. 
but it was developed by rapid prototyping, uh, which is used by each startup, then by inviting citizenships, young people, elderly people, to tell us what is good in the app and what is not so good, and by this uh, developing it over a very rapid period of time. So I think it's uh, true that citizens request uh, that we are delivering uh, both in these areas, but also in the other areas like uh, digital education. You were mentioning digital education because taking citizens serious also means um, that um, they should be capable to use these technologies. Can you give us a few examples of what um, you do in your Digital Austria strategy or the government does in particular to um, increase the digital skills of Austrian citizens? Yes, we have uh, created a platform which is called Fit for Internet. And this platform is a cooperation between our ministry, so the government, um, the Ministry of Digital Affairs and the private sector, companies like Infineon, uh, like Siemens, like uh, Emporia, who are specialized in, in, in this area. And uh, in this platform, we concentrate fully on how to increase the digital knowledge, the digital level in all fields and all areas of life. Not only for the young people, which is a strong focus, but also for people living, uh, uh, working in companies and also for elderly people who are maybe already outside the working process and also want to participate. This is a special challenge we do have in Austria and in Germany and a lot of European companies that we do not, do not uh, should not leave them behind but help them to uh, make use uh, of these uh, possibilities of the internet in a safe, in a secure way and in a way that is uh, appropriate for their needs. I'm very proud especially uh, about the development we're going to have in the next six months for people working in companies. So we will take the European framework and apply it to Austria in a way that we are at this platform is at the moment developing a software for self-assessment. Mm -hmm. So digital competences will be uh, self, can, you can do a self-assessment uh, for those in the future in Austria. Everybody can do this and it's based on the European framework. Mm -hmm. And there is a lot of paperwork done, which is really good, but again, it has in rarely been implemented in the countries. So this will be a possibility, like you know it from English or, or French, when you're learning a language, we're completely used um, that we know our rating, that we know where we stand. In digitalization, we do not know this. A lot of people are insecure because they do not know where do I stand, what do I need to learn. Based on this, then there will be an automatic suggestion uh, which uh, courses to book, uh, what to, to do online, and how to increase the level of digital knowledge. Very interesting approach to really uh, bring lifelong learning to life for you citizens, actually. Thank you very much, Minister Schramberg. We are very much looking forward to your keynote at the Digitizing Euro Summit. Thank Welcome. You. Thank you very much.